and it's just kind of like on one hand so disappointing for a lot of Nigerians who were so excited to be represented on this national and international platform because this show was on Netflix guys like Hey guys, it's ID. I've never really done this kind of video before, but I wanted to give it a shot because there are some conversations that are going a bit viral right now that I definitely have thoughts on. The latest season of Love is Blind. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I am totally a reality TV show junkie. So in this latest season, it was really exciting for the Nigerian community because they actually had a Nigerian on there for I think, I'm pretty sure it was the first time. His name was SK. Uh, and there are a couple of YouTubers that have talked about their feelings about SK. Um, I saw one person, Stefko, who's pretty big, kind of have this take of like, she doesn't know what Nigerian guys are like and what Nigerian dating is like. So she didn't really know how to feel about you know his behavior on the show and then at the reunion and now post reunion um and then i also saw a, a nigerian youtuber i think she's nigerian anyway she might not be jesse Wu. i don't know if she's nigerian or not but she seems to be african um and she was kind of saying like shame 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 on sk but then also that she didn't she wasn't surprised and so what they're all referring to is that basically during the show there didn't seem to be a lot of hope <laughs> for this SK and Raven uh, dynamic. A lot of people got super like annoyed with it and frustrated with it and confused about it is because SK never, ever, ever during those four weeks while they were together after he had proposed, he never said anything or behaved in any way that suggested to Raven or to the audience or to his family like he had any concerns or had any issues with getting married to Raven. He acted like everything she said was okay with him and that they were on the same page and that they were gonna get married. These past couple of days slash this past one week, multiple women have taken to TikTok and to Instagram to actually share proof of them having had a relationship with SK while he was supposed to be engaged to Raven. And I think it wasn't just one woman, I think it was like two or three women, like multiple women making these claims, showing evidence of DMs, of photos together, of text threads, like real hardcore evidence that you can't just like sweep under the rug with like dates, timestamps, like everything. And it's just kind of like, on one hand, so disappointing for a lot of Nigerians who were so excited to be represented on this national and international platform because this show was on Netflix, guys. Like, Netflix is a huge deal, especially with the pandemic. I think if before Netflix was more like an American trend, the pandemic definitely took it to new heights because with everyone being at home and having nothing else to do, watching TV and watching series became the default. There's kind of this reputation and this um, stereotype that you shouldn't be shocked if your Nigerian male partner cheats. And a lot of the reason why people say this is because of the polyamorous um, multiple wives culture and whatever. But the problem is that polyamory normally typically in like an ethical and kind of like honest situation is something that's understood and agreed upon between all the parties so when you have a situation where a man is with multiple women and they don't know about each other and they don't know that that's what's happening for me i don't call that polyamory or whatever you want to call it i just call that i just call that cheating like, I just call that dishonesty. I just call that betrayal. Um, and I think everyone was really hopeful that SK, like the way he came onto the show so earnest, 
so patient they were taking things at their own pace she really grew to trust and love sk and so i think from a female point of view it was kind of like hmm okay like maybe love can be blind so much hope and so much just like confidence i think that people had in sk that he's gonna be this this honest guy that's actually going to do things right and show what a great guy can be like and show what a great nigerian guy can be like for all of that to all just i think for him to now have all these accusations all these allegations of infidelity and of dating multiple women at the same time it's just like i don't know i'll keep this short but my take long story short on this is just show us better like <laughs> i uh, i wish that stereotypes weren't always true i wish stereotypes weren't usually based on some morsel of truth let's validate what we keep on seeing over and over again like don't have your first reaction be to just invalidate and be like oh women or nigerian women are all thinking this that or the other validate that that does happen because it does and this is like one of the most painfully clear examples of the fact that it does for me seeing someone quote unquote like raven be treated in this way someone who i think of as someone who has like the ultimate pretty privilege who is who kind of symbolizes the ultimate of what so many guys claim they want in a woman in terms of physique in terms of looks um she still got treated in this horrendous terrible painful way so it's kind of like I don't know, it makes me honestly more empathetic, I would say, for women in general, and to realize that um, a lot of this heartbreak and disappointment, it's not something that is unique to, you know, darker skinned women or women that are not conventionally attractive. It's just, as one other YouTuber said, like, sometimes it's really just the men that you're dealing with that are the problem and it's really not you and i feel like that's probably the biggest takeaway i want people to have like there's so much on the internet about working on yourself and there's so much about women trying to look a certain way wear their hair a certain way dress a certain way putting in all this effort to try and attract men and try and um end up in relationships to try and get married but ladies like sometimes it's really just not even you so Hopefully, I don't know, that made me feel better. I hope it's kind of comforting to other people. And, you know, we'll see what happens in this SK Raven saga because I'm sure there's gonna be more. It's just the beginning and um, sending like a lot of good thoughts and vibes to Raven. Probably not gonna see this, but if you do, <laughs> sending it to you, girl, hang in there. And um, let me know what you guys think, leave comments. Let me know if you like this type of video. I'm happy to make more of these because I watch a lot of these shows. So see you guys later. Don't forget to hit the bell button and press all so that you get alerted every time I post a new video.